All right, guys, welcome to the video today. Today we are going to caulk the backsplash counter joint there that's in the new house. And looks like the, the caulk has deteriorated, so we are going to take and uh, re caulk it because up here it seems like a lot of water's been getting up there, um, and we don't want it to rot the counter or the, the wall behind the grout. So we got to get our area cleaned up and get rid of this stuff. Sorry about that. And we got to get our supplies, which we have right here. We have some caulk, our caulk gun, some painter's tape, my cutters, which are wire cutters, and a glove, a scraper. So the first thing we're, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up the the grout in the old caulk. So we're just going to use the the scraper to clean up all the junky caulk that we can. I'm not worried about this being perfect because eventually Shelly wants to redo the kitchen anyways. I just want to get it sealed up so we don't create a bigger problem while we wait. As you can see, all you need to do with the paint scraper is just stick it in there. Push down on it a little bit and that'll get all the junk out. And I want to be super careful because the last thing I want to do is knock the tiles out and have to redo the back. And we've lived here for about a year now, and I've been wanting to do this since the day we moved in. So today is the day we're going to do it. We've already got most of it cleaned up. Now we're just going to take our handy dandy Kirby vacuum and uh, clean up the mess. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue painter's tape, and I'm going to tape a strip on the counter, and then a strip on here leaving a little bit of a gap on the tile and the counter. That way when I put my caulk down, I'll put it in the crack and then, and then I can smooth it out and peel the tape off and hopefully it'll give me a nice clean, clean edge all the way down the, the counter. And remember, I've never done this before, so um, if I can do it, you can do it. Just like taping off before you paint. All right, so that's the top. Not 100% sure how much of a space I should be leaving. My main goal is to just get the crack sealed up and not ruin the backsplash or the countertop because I don't want to replace either one of them. All right, so that's the bottom piece. Okay, now that we have our painter's tape down, what we need to do is we need to open our caulk. Some people say that this part is the most important part of caulking is to get the tip cut on the perfect angle so that when you put it in here it lays it down very real nice and in case you didn't know there is a cutter that's on here that you can stick this in here and cut it but um i hear a lot of people don't recommend it because it messes the end of it up so i'm going to use my my wire cutters which work really good for cutting just about everything i don't have a utility a sharp utility knife so but you want to cut it on a little bit of an angle not too sharp of an angle but not so you just have a little bit coming out the just a little teeny hole there and actually on this one it has the uh the lines on it so you should try to pay attention there's lines on here i cut mine the wrong direction needless to say it's still going to work the other cool thing about the cock gun is there is the pokey deal on it so you can use the little pokey deal to poke the hole. Maybe I didn't, maybe I will cut it the other way. I'm going to cut it the other way. So there is the lines on it. So we're going to cut it at the right line here. It says one eighth of an inch. There we go. So we got it cut. And then we're going to poke it. And that pokes the hole in the seal down here. So that when you go to pump it out, it will come out nice. So you got to turn this over so that it will start to pump it out. So then we're going to start laying down our caulk. It's real important that you put enough down, but you don't want to put too much down. Oop, that's gross. And it's not the right color. What the hell? All right. So we're going to start laying this down. This is why I don't like doing this stuff. Stuff never goes the way you want it to. Makes a bigger mess than it should. It's going to be a huge mess to clean up. But anyways, we're going to start putting the caulk down. You want to get a nice even bead.
Remember to move as you squeeze, stop when you don't squeeze. And then you can release this so it doesn't pump it all out into the And then we're going to take our glove. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my glove a little bit wet. And then we're just going to smooth it out here. And then after it gets a certain fullness. I might have to redo that first little bit there. Cock. Had this cocked for a while. And it could be like expired or because it got frozen it's not working so maybe i'll have to cock it maybe i'll run, i'm gonna run one more bead down there because it seemed like down at this end it worked a little better as far as the cock mixture and it's not quite thick enough right there so we'll run one more bead of cock there that looks better like any anything you do yourself usually the more times you do it the better you get and if, if you're lucky like me i screw up most things i do so by the time I get done, I've done it two or three times. And by the second or third time, things go a lot better. Okay. So now we got a real good thing of caulk on the counter. So now we're going to smooth it out again. So the other thing that could be is I could be pushing too hard down at that end. Let me put a little bit more down at the start part. There. There, we won't push so hard right there. But that should fill in all the cracks and get us a pretty good seal. And then the other thing you want to remember is not to leave your, um, not to leave the uh, tape on for too long. So I'm going to take and pull the top part off. And hopefully we can get a good shot of a nice clean line here. So I'm going to start pulling the... Pulling the tape off and look at that. Look how nice and clean that is, except for where the joints are. I guess I didn't think about that part, but regardless, at least it's done. We'll pull the bottom piece off now. Then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about them joints because it looks a little goofy. Uh oh. Yeah, so I should have left a bigger gap on the bottom, obviously. Because, oh, son of a gun. So like I said, I usually end up screwing things up, but um, looks like I'm going to have to do it again. So, I, I left a big enough space on the top, but I need to leave more of a space on the bottom. But down here at this end... It actually turned out really nice down here. That's how it's supposed to look. So I'm going to real quick do it again. Hopefully it'll turn out a little better. All right, guys. So we got our painter's tape back on there. We're probably going to end up with a real fat caulk line. But um, that's going to be okay with me. So we'll get our caulk back on there. All right. So we'll put our layer of caulk in the crack there. And we're making another mess. Sorry this isn't going very well. But that's how it goes sometimes. But we'll hurry up and get this down, spread it out, and I'll show you what it looks like after I pull the, the tape. But this is why it's important to make sure that cut on the end of the caulk gun is perfect. Because it'll help you from making a big mess like I'm doing. Crap. Where's my glove? Alright, take two. Oh, also you're going to want a lot of paper towels. So we're going to push this down and we're going to make a big, big mess. So basically I just want to make sure that I got enough caulk all the way to both sides, you know, to fill in the, all the way to the tape. And if you're lucky like me, it doesn't matter really what it looks like because all the other caulk joints 
aren't that great in this house. So, more than likely, this is going to end up being the best looking cock joint in the whole house. So, kudos to me. Final one. So make sure I get it flat, because if I don't get it flat, it's going to bother me. So this hopefully will end up nice and smooth. All right, I'm just gonna give it a couple minutes to set up. I don't know if you need to do that, but it seems like a good idea. Try to get all the caulk off these plugs. And remember, it's important to make sure you get all the caulk off the counter that you don't want to remain on the counter because next thing you know, you'll be replacing your countertops. All right, so let's take the tape off. It's been long enough. you can see the caulk joints are still or the grout joints are still an issue here but it's okay I can live with that all right hopefully this is better because I don't want to do it again look at that nice clean edge so amazing way better than the first time almost like a professional did it well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you feel like you need to watch more videos so you feel comfortable to do this yourself, there's probably more in the sidebar or down, in the, down below that you can watch. Um, remember, I, I have never done this before, and um, I was able to seal my counter and my backsplash up. It may not be perfect, but it's good enough for me. Thanks for watching. And the neat thing is, it'll be neat to see how long it takes Shelly to realize we did this.